Hi everybody, we've been looking at yeast breads, yeast bread doughs for different types of pizzas and pretzels. And I realize that sometimes life is pretty hectic and we just don't have the time to make some of those doughs. I want to show you a great idea that you can do. It makes a great snack after school or if you have this around when you have lunch and you're um, in between classes and you want to make this while we're still at home before we go back to school, this is a great idea. So we're just gonna take a can of biscuits. This recipe calls for the um, Pillsbury Grand's refrigerated biscuits. And it does say you can use the other um, refrigerated dough as well. And then these cans, they used to just pop if you would touch them, but now you just do that and they pop out of the can. Look at those. And so we're gonna take these and we're just going to take one of the biscuits and we need to pat this out a little bit. We're going to flatten it to about five inches. So I think that if you just come around your edges and push that out, that that really works well. And you're going to put this on a greased baking sheet, a cookie sheet, baking sheet. And since I'm using this sill pad, I don't have to grease this. All right, so that looks really good right there. And obviously, the more you pat them out, the thinner this will be. So we're gonna do a, a few of these. So I just kind of smash them out. And then as we get these finished, we're just going to take some store-bought pizza sauce or you can make your own. In fact, I have some in the refrigerator that I just put together for another recipe that I'm going to make tomorrow. And so I just want all the spite, the herbs and the tomato to just kind of sit overnight and just get really flavorful. Or you can just use the jar. And then we're gonna put on whatever toppings you want, whatever you happen to have around the house. You can use lunch meats, you can use pepperoni, you can not put any meat on it, you can put your veggies on. Um, if you like mushrooms and you have some around, just wipe those off with a damp paper towel and slice them up and stick them on. Or you can get them out of a can and drain them and pat them dry. All right, there we go. And then you're gonna pop them in the oven. And for these, we're gonna bake at 375 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the bottoms are golden brown. We wanna make sure we don't burn these. And, and I was, as I was getting the ingredients out, this just made me think about something from my childhood that I would do for a great after school snack, especially because we had dinner late when my mom would get home from work. Um, so, I would get an English muffin and I would pop it in the toaster. You can do this with a bagel as well. And I would come out of the toaster and then I would put my sauce, my jarred spaghetti, or not spaghetti sauce, but pizza sauce on it. And I'd sprinkle some mozzarella cheese. And if I had any pepperoni, I'd stick that on because I liked pepperoni. And I would pop them in the oven. And when the cheese was bubbly and golden brown, I would pull them out. And that was a great snack, especially if I had a lot of things going on um, and I wasn't going to be maybe home until really late. Um, that was a great um, hold me over. All right, let's do this last, do this one. I'll save the other for when my daughter gets home from work and then she can do a couple of fresh ones. All right, look at that. How difficult is this? Not. There we go. I think really the key here is you want them to be um, the same thickness. Hey, my oven is preheated. It says we're ready to go. All right, so let's take some of this sauce and spoon on. Work from the center out. There we go. Okay, so I'm looking at this sauce and I'm just kind of wondering, 
how many herbs are in here because I don't see any. So, what am I going to do? Taste it. Oh, it's good. It's got a lot of herbs in it. All right, because I was going to say, if you wanted to, you could just sprinkle some herbs on to add a little extra flavor. And I think what I'm going to put on next, put on some cheese. Now, I'm using mozzarella, but that's not the only cheese you can use. Whatever you have on hand, go ahead and use. Um, if you have any fresh spinach in your refrigerator, you could throw some of that on. You could just roll it up and slice it. That would be a chef and odd cut. We'll be learning about that when we do our knife skills. Um, you could use American cheese, cheddar, Swiss, provolone. I think it's a great thing to do when you're cleaning out your cabinets. Or not your cabinets, but your refrigerator. There we go. And I think this one kind of got skimped on on the sauce. So there we go. We don't want it to be skimpy. Oh, goodness. So I guess I just kind of made up for that with the cheese. All right, I want to get my cheese off the sheet there. It'll be a less mess for cleaning up. And then you can just take whatever toppings you want to put on there. Oh my goodness, I think some sliced some chopped onion would be good. Some um, bell peppers. Oh, some banana peppers you could put on. You could even put some jalapeno on there. If you had some barbecue sauce and some chicken, you could um, substitute the tomato pay or the uh, pizza sauce with some barbecue sauce, and you could do that. Maybe you could top it with a little bit of um, blue cheese. Oop! I've already done. There we go. See, I told you it was fast. And I'm going to pop this in the oven, bake it for, what did I say, 12 to 15 minutes, and I'll bring them out and we'll take a look. All right, guys, these are out of the oven. Um, they took 15 minutes. And look at this. Look how lovely they are. And I just want you to see that you can take something like this and throw a salad with it, and you're going to have a nice little dinner ready to go. So I hope you try these out and you can compare them with the other pizza recipes and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for joining me and just remember to have fun in the kitchen and make sure that whatever you make that you put a little heart in everything that you bake. Thank you so much for joining me.